My friends, let us enter Gamer World. That's crazy fast loading times. All right, so I'm going into this entirely blind, boys. Ooh, texture packs. Sorry, I get distracted very easily. So we just finished our expert mode playthrough. Now, you could probably guess what playthrough we're gonna do next. There's over 1,000 new items. So naturally, we're gonna be playing classic on our character. Okay, let me reset the UI here. Beautiful. All right, whoa, look at the, that's really cool. Okay, open emotes. There's emotes now? Oh, and you could type them in chat. Goldfish. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. I love that. Bestiary. Oh yeah, this shows you all the, like, info about all the monsters you fought, so you don't have to guess anymore, which is amazing. Okay. Oh, it added the craft your first workbench achievement. Okay. Oh, cool. They wobble when you walk past them. Man, this is already... S oh my gosh. Look at everything. It looks so good. The leaves are flowing, the sunflowers are swaying. I want to check the, um, the, okay, that's classic. They have bar. oh my gosh, that looks so cool. Okay, we're doing bars, I'm sorry, but I love that. Okay, so it looks like the beginning Terraria experience is pretty standard so far, besides the amazing graphics, like for real, this is a totally different game. Why, hello slime, are you going to one-shot me? I bet you are. You gotta collect mushrooms, spread out the sunflowers, genuinely get wrecked by this individual dude. Whoa! They changed that with short swords. You could aim where you're doing it now. And they made the uh, damage numbers a bit smaller. I like that a lot. Man, they were not kidding. This is definitely a uh, passion project. And it shows so well. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's make a house now. Okay, all right, I gotta play serious here. This is master mode after all. He came in from a balloon, that was crazy. Made the cheerful music really confusing, obviously. All right, we're not gonna do anything crazy for the starting house, but we will expand to something better than just a standard noob tower, you know? Whoa! You see that? It dropped a apricot. Minor improvements to all stats. You'll appreciate this. Yeah, thank you, devs. So it's basically pumpkins, but... Yeah, it gives you the well fed. Okay, that's awesome. You'll appreciate this. They know us so well, don't they? Hey! The balloon just freaking exploded. What the? Oh, whoa, whoa. What the fuck? Angry Dandelion? Okay, yeah, you lived up to the name. Holy shit, I I was not expecting to be killed by literal dandelions. Shame on me, this is master mode, I should know better. Oh, we got corruption, boys. I was gonna say, at least we have a home court advantage because we're familiar with it, but this says over a thousand items, so I don't know what's going on. Radar, we will take that. Wait, whoa. I just noticed the second, or the sixth accessory slot is unlocked automatically in master mode. Does that mean we're already in hard mode? I'm, yep. That's an eater of souls, I should have known better. He did 66 damage to me. Master mode, man. This is, uh, masters only. Only masters like me are allowed to see that you were slain. That's how you know I'm a master. Ooh, they have a eye in the background. That's really cool. I hope that's in the background. We're just saving everything, because I don't know what I will and won't need. Since, you know, oh, okay. He had a stick. I should have known he had the range advantage. So I played through expert mode fully twice now. One, one says a melee build and one says ranged. So I'm going to do my absolute best to not look anything up unless I like, you know, absolutely need to. Okay, so you can make the villagers happy based on where they like live. So that's cool. Uh, yeah, I think you could literally have conversations with the NPCs now. Tree! I eat of worlds. All right, that's music. They're, they're nonsensical uh, conversations, but conversations nonetheless. Oh boy. What? Green moon. 
Is that for the corruption? Yeah, that must be. Unless that's its own event. Uh-oh, it might be its own event. That's a green moon, boys and girls. Master mode so far, obviously it's gonna get extremely hard, but I was expecting, like, getting one-shotted by slimes and shit. Don't... They can't go through plat- Oh, okay, they could go- They could- uh, uh, Whoa! Terraria latched onto my, uh, LED keyboard, and it's like... It's just moving colors around right now, like green and blue, like sparkling. Which is still really cool, but I didn't even know it did that, so that was kind of spooky. I, I think it's safe to say that Terraria devs are superhumans. Like, they are... They're just amazing. I think the uh, colors that it puts on your screen matches like the music. Because it wasn't like this before the music started. I'm glad they changed it from softcore to classic too. Because softcore made you feel like you're a wimp or something for not wanting to lose all of your possessions on death. <laughs> yeah, the keyboard's changing into like a lime green now. It is matched up to the soundtrack. That's fucking awesome. I love how they added so much stuff and yet it, it still feel- yeah. It's- oh my god. It still feels like Terraria. No idea why that was so hard for me to say. Is there anything of value? Nope. Oh, okay, I wasn't even- I was looking at the glow stick. What is it with red slimes, man? No other slimes have given me half as much trouble. Mm. Everything has killing potential. Except for me. Oh my gosh. Do you guys remember the weapon Arcalis? I used to freaking rant about it because of how much I loved it when I played my uh, melee build. We're gonna try to get some Evan wood. That is atrocious amounts of damage. He two-shotted me. Alright, I'm just gonna go down the cave. It's the only place where I could get stuff without immediately dying. Are you kidding me? What did I just say? What did I just say? What? Why are there three fucking traps in a row? Oh, it's a mushroom place. Ooh, that's a lot of life. Life crystals. Gimme. There's one more down there, too. Gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta get it. There's two more. Hey, the merchant showed up. Hooray. Alright, boys, not to jinx anything, but things are looking really good for us. We got a bunch of life uh, now, and we got a bunch more materials. <sighs> Alright, merchant. Teleport to another pylon when two villagers are nearby. You can only place one per type and in the matching biome. That's really cool. So they have, like, teleporters for biomes now. Interesting. Alright, we got 260 health now, so we're definitely making progress. But my idea is I could bomb down that and then break the uh, orb and we could get some items we're not really supposed to have yet. Musket! Actually, will the gun dude show up now? Do we do a little uh, gamer strat? The blood moon? Uh oh. I'm definitely not ready for that. A goblin army? Jeez, the blood moon just ended. Give me a sec here. Holy crap. Okay, well, guess we're doing that now. Yeah, we are not at all prepared for this goblin army. Plus, there might be extra stuff with uh, master mode, so... Oh, wow, I don't even get a chance to think. Here we go. Okay, at least the enchanted sword is still good. Goblin thief? Those are definitely new. Oh, wow. This is bad. I think they just keep respawning until you destroy them all though, so it shouldn't be too bad. This anklet of the wind is really helpful too. One percent cleared, oh boy. I'm yep, I'm dead again. Got 3% that time. Yeah, whatever. I win, bitch. What was the point of even, 
like, does the goblin uh, tinker spawn now, or is he... Why are they still walking around? Leave! Okay, so here's the temple. Obviously we- yeah. <laughs> I can't even- Oh shit, you can, you can! He told me I am far too weak to fight the curse though, so uh, yeah. You could guess how this is gonna go. Yep. They have a boss bar now, which is awesome. I didn't think he'd allow me to fight him, because he said I was way too weak. Scarab bomb. Explosion aims away from your position. Interesting. Bruh. I need one more silver ingot to make the pants. Master mode is actively against you. Oh, it, it goes up with master mode. It used to be 25 gold. Okay, I see you, game. I only have 20 gold, so that's not an option right now, but yeah. I collected critters like you once, then I took a cursed fox bite to the knee. Ah, cursed fox bite. I really hate when Daryl the arms dealer does to animals. <laughs> yeah, his gun is literally a mini shark. Alright, so we have an arms dealer, a guide, and a literal furry. Yeah, that that's uh... Alright. <clears throat> Armored step stool. That is definitely new. Hold up to reach higher. Let's try it out. Oh, cool! It has three defense, so we're definitely gonna keep it equipped. Whoa. Oh, I got a lot of gold on me. I gotta not die. Jungle torch. What does that look like? Ooh, very green. I like it. We could go try to fight the queen bee, but we might get wrecked. I'm pretty sure the Aya Cthulhu is way easier, so we'll probably just stick with that as our strat. Oh, there's enough silver for what we need. I don't remember how the Dryad spawns, but once she does, we could start uh, our seed farm and stuff. Okay, now let's craft the final silver bar we need. And then we could get the pants. And now we go from 12 defense to 17. That's more like it. Awesome. Alright, put these bars in here. Shuriken, grenade, worm, tin, gel, cobweb. We'll keep the iron skin and archery on us. We have a lot of ropes, so we'll just throw that away. I think we could combine these eventually, but we need to wait for the NPC to give us the stuff to combine them. Silver ore, okay. Alright, now let's see if there's anything we could craft with bamboo here. Okay, the standard furniture and stuff. It doesn't look like you could craft armor or weapons though. So it might just be aesthetic. Which is fine, because bamboo's still cool. Okay, the nurse arrived. Which is good and bad. I mean, it's the nurse, so that's good. But at the same time, we need the dryad. Alright, I'll build more houses, fine. Did I check this chest yet? I did not. Wait. Yes, we have shoe spikes and climbing claws now. That is really good. Okay, we could combine those at the Tinker's Workshop when we get the chance. Oh, this is where the, uh... Oh, it's the different, uh, underground mushroom biome. Cool. 36. I can afford the mini shark. Ooh, it's tempting, it's tempting. Wait. Oh, I can barely afford it. Wait. No, I can't. I need more silver. Oh my gosh, that thing's expensive. Alright. How much are the bullets? Seven copper. Okay, so we could get the endless pouch once the uh, wizard comes in. But I don't remember how to get him. I don't know what the uh, NPC happiness meter does, though. Like, genuinely no idea. Maybe it's just an optional beneficial thing? I guess we'll find out. I hate overcrowding for the open world. I'm quite fond of wandering through the forest. I like it here. I hate that loot of the painters around. The world is fine the way it was made. Quite fond of Veronica, the Uologist. We have a lot in common. Okay, so they change based on how many uh, NPCs there are. So most of them, if not all of them, hate the fact that they're crowded in one area. So if I just spread their houses apart, I don't know by how much, but 
enough eventually, then they'll just chill out. Leather Whip. So that's a Castlevania reference, first of all. Second of all, summon damage? Or summon tag damage. Don't know what that means. Okay, so you want to match them up with people they like, but you don't want too many people in the same place. So the painter hates the forest, so let's go to the jungle he might like. I guess. Let's go build a house in the jungle. Yeah, they can't move into uh, houses in the Corrupt or Crimson. Interesting. Oh, that's cool. If you take the sunflower away, it gets cloudy. If you put it back, then it's sunny. That's cool. Alright, so you want to keep the, the nurse with the... Alright, so we'll move the angler next, because the merchant doesn't like him. And actually, no one likes him. I don't even like him. <laughs> Oh, okay, so if you have too many graves around, then it makes it all dark. Wait, that might mean that the grave, like, a graveyard is an actual biome. So maybe there is a grave, because ghosts only appear when I'm, like, by where I died before, remember? Oh, get him. There's another ghost. It's not even nighttime. What are you doing? The lack of social distancing here. Oh, that's a uh, reference to the coronavirus. That's clever. Okay, so she thinks it's too crowded, so she wants to move probably with the merchant because she doesn't like treating the zoologist. 35, wait, it's 35 gold exactly. So happiness decreases prices, right? Five gold, 25 silver. Okay, so yeah, the higher their happiness is, the lower their prices are. That's awesome. Okay, so now I could get this for a few gold less. I have 38. Aw, oh, yeah, bitches. Got the mini shark. Right, we should probably fight the eye now. I mean, we're pretty decked out, right? Like, we got all our NPCs spread out. Alright, I want to collect a lot of fallen stars because of that, uh, the buff they gave the star cannon. I don't know if they changed the star cannon and buffed it or if they just added a whole new item. I really like that the zoologist, uh, sells a grappling hook. Makes it a lot easier to get one sooner. Alright, I'll go make a big platform arena at spawn, and then we will fight the uh, Eye of Cthulhu, the first boss in Master Mode. So tonight, we're gonna fight the first boss in Master Mode. I don't know if they made him like crazy OP, I don't know if he's just slightly harder, but either way, I'm super excited. Alright, we're at 340. Oh, okay, we're at zero. Here we go! Oh, I didn't even buff. That could have been bad. He's got a lot more health. Ah! We did it! That wasn't hard at all. And it looks like... Whoa. Yeah, there's different loot in uh, Master Mode. So we got OX-33's Aviators. Enable your enables your inner wingman. Great for impersonating streamers, so it's a popular Twitch streamer. Cool. I have Cthulhu relic can be placed master mode. So you know how there's uh, only exclusive items in expert. This says this is an exclusive uh, master mode. Yeah. Whoa. That's awesome. All right, where we get in the bag? This is the expert mode, so that's just normal. Okay, cool. Um, warding? Oh, that's amazing. So, by the end of master mode, I should have, uh, like, a boss, um, totem for all of these, right? Yeah, so you should have one for every boss by the end of the game. Alright, we defeated the Eye of Cthulhu. Uh, we got our first master mode item, and, uh, our defense and everything is looking pretty good. I hope you guys tune in for the next part of Terraria Master Mode.